Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink and I am back with another Stamp Timber exclusive. This is with Mama Elephant. This is the Merry Mail stamp set that is only available while supplies last through the month of Stamp Timber here. Some of the limited edition sets have already sold out. I will have links and info in the description box below the video to check out. This set is super adorable so many ideas for it and it's mama elephant i hoard mama elephant like i do pattern paper and lawn fawn and all the other stuff um <laughs> but this set because it's limited edition wanted to you know actually ink it up actually use it before it's gone so i stamped some of the images of the set there are more but i stamped some of the smaller images of the set onto some nina classic crest 80 pound cardstock with simon's intense black ink and I'm doing some very quick and easy and simple Copic coloring because these are small images so you don't have a whole lot of room to do you know blending and techniques and that so this I also like that because when you you know if you have a lot of Christmas cards to make etc I don't want to spend a ton of time you know I just like to get it done but it's also with these because they're just cute you add a little bit of color you're good so I've listed the colors I used on the screen here. I did everything pretty much in red and then added a bit of green because Christmas. Um, plus it just kind of ties everything together. So I had stamped the little Santa in his airplane, which I just I love it. And then the little images I stamped twice. So I had twice as many to play with and colored everything in with the reds. Apologies, my printer has decided to come to life just because it can. Anyway, <laughs> did reds on the bulk of everything and then just added a little bit of green uh, for the Christmas presents, like the bows and the ribbon, just to get that little pop of color. And then um, did a little bit of fixing with my colorless blender because I usually end up going out the lines. I used BG10 on the parts of the Santa's outfit and on the envelopes, as well as a little bit of BV20, which I really like to add shading with. And I used the BB20 on his beard, just again, just to differentiate a bit. Added some highlights with my white gel pen, just to make all the images pop. They're all cut out. Um, off camera, I die cut the elements that are gonna create my scene. And that's from the Mama Elephant on the Hills wafer die set, which again, I purchased forever ago. And it's been sitting here, you know, being pet every time I do pull it out and not used. Anyway, actually used it. The clouds I die cut or the cloud piece I die cut and I ran it through twice to make it a little shorter because I wanted to make a little bit more like space on this card because the sky area I needed a wider area because I had a somewhat brilliant idea. It was already designed this way. The sentiment, the merry sentiment obviously was designed to kind of be written in the sky by the little plane. So I wanted to do that and I was of course going to white heat emboss it because it would be emboss resist. And then I remembered I had in my stash yet again some Hero Arts white puff embossing powder. I've never used this before actually. I tested it out right before I started filming and the easiest way to explain this if you've never used it is it's kind of like liquid applique, applique if you've ever used it. Think of it as liquid applique in a powder form. That's basically what it is. You sprinkle it on just like regular embossing powder. When you heat it, it literally does puff up. And I was proud of myself because I was like, that is so perfect for these little cloud images and for that, you know, puffy writing he'd be writing in the sky. So really fun stuff. I'm going to have to play with it more. But for Christmas cards and whatnot, this stuff is awesome. Seriously, it's so much fun. So really cute. Stamp that sentiment, the two little outlines, and then heat embossed them with that. And then again, I tested this a tiny little bit off camera. Um, normally with heat embossing, it is glossy and it resists ink and you can do all the fun little ink resist techniques. This stuff is different because it's puffy. I wasn't sure how this would work. And for the most part, it does work. If I had more time, I would have honestly just done my ink blending first, let it completely 100% dry. And then I would have just stamped and heat embossed the white puff embossing powder on top of it but I literally did not have enough time to do that. So I did emboss resist. I don't get quite the same result because the ink I'm blending, like I'm using the oxide inks and you can see it's it's getting all over the um, embossing. I am able to remove most of that with a microfiber cloth, but that also kind of not ruins, but it kind of dulls the puffiness of the embossing because I think it removes some of it. 
So if I get, if I was to do this again, I would either do a blue card base, just blue card stock, or I would do my ink blending first, then stamp the sentiments and the clouds and emboss them after everything's dry, because obviously ink takes a while to dry, and then stamp and do that heat embossing, and it would pop just a bit more. But this still works. I just have learned now from experience. <laughs> so after I was done that, I popped the clouds into place with um, some, just some Gina K Connect glue. And then the bottom portions were die cut also from white cardstock. And then in that little on the hills die set is these dies to create the little trees and the buildings, which are just super fun. And they're all connected like that. So it's super easy to just adhere everything together. So I just um, had die cut the darker green from some Simon Midnight Green cardstock. And then the lighter green is actually from a Gina K, um, the Autumn Rainbow pack of cardstock. This is the fresh asparagus green. And then the gray buildings I die cut from two scraps of gray cardstock. This is Simon Smoke and Slate cardstocks. I'm just adhering them onto these white cardstock um, hills that I die cut with the same die set. And then I'm going to adhere all these together. If you really wanted to pop everything up with dimension and foam tape, you totally could. It would give it, you know, just so much extra. But I decided to adhere everything flat because the little main images, I'm going to pop those up with foam tape. But before I adhere this piece to my card front, I wanted to stamp the sentiment onto it before, because um, once it's adhered to my card front, it's going to make the card front a lot thicker. And I knew I wanted to use my stamp positioner to stamp this because it's a very tiny little sentiment. And it's a brand new stamp, so usually it needs to be inked up more than once, and I was right. So I used my stamp positioner and ended up inking it up twice and stamping it there. So it'll, the, you know, sky writing says Merry and then Christmas and Happy New Year on the card. So now I can adhere my um, little scene of hills and whatnot onto the front of this card. And then for the little Santa flying through the air and all the little whatnots, I just pulled out my little 3D foam square adhesive. These are just tiny little squares. I love these things. And I just am going to pop all of these little images up with those foam squares, just to give those that little extra bit of dimension. And the minute I pop that Santa on, that, it just made my day. It's like this card is finally coming together. I've had the worst day ever. So many things going on. Everything was going wrong. And then this card just starts coming together. And it's like, this is why I do what I do. Crafting therapy is such a thing. This just made me so happy. This card is so fun. These images are so cute. <laughs> And when things like, you know, the idea in your head starts taking shape, it's like, yes. <laughs> so I popped all the little like gifts and envelopes, you know, onto my scene. I reserved a couple of the ones I'd colored for the inside of the card. So I'm going to stamp another sentiment from that set with the black um, ink. And it says special delivery from the North Pole. So I stamped that with the black ink and then I took those two little um, outline clouds again and I just put them on acrylic blocks and I'm just going to ink them up with the tumbled glass distress oxide ink. These stamped, this is like the perfect color for these. It just, again, everything's coming together. I'm like having a ball making this. So I stamped them. I didn't stamp them perfectly. There was a couple I was like, oh, I did not ink these up very well. So <laughs> this is why I keep extra little images colored and whatnot. Just glue them on top. Nobody will know. So glued the little um, gift with the parachute and the couple little envelopes there onto the inside of the card as well, just to really finish off this cute little scene. And then as a final embellishment, not necessary, but I'm obsessed with the stuff since I last used it. Um, this is the Fresh Snowfall accents from Nouveau. Just everywhere. Stuck it everywhere because why not? It's cute. It's not super glittery. It just gives it, you know, that little bit of texture, that little bit of glitter. It just brings a whole snowy scene together. So I applied it literally all over this card to the tops of all the trees, the tops of all the buildings, the tops of the little hills, the very top of the card just because I could. And then I decided to lightly dab it all over that sky background I created to make it look like falling snow. So this stuff actually doesn't take too long to dry because I, as always I'm in a hurry but I would let it you know let it sit overnight let it give it the good 24 hours that Tonic recommends to really make sure it's dry but it does dry fairly quickly like even with it gooped on the way I did it so that is my card for today like I said there will be links below the video to my blog post links to all the supplies used check them out as this is limited edition and um, thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting on my videos I really appreciate it I will see you all very soon in the next one bye <laughs>